Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. Now guys, in this video, I'm gonna be potting up these cuttings that we got last week from our cactus meeting here in Belfast. And it was wonderful to meet all the guys. If you haven't seen um, the video we did when we got these cuttings and links up above to that video. And as I say, we were very kindly gifted some cuttings from um, some of the members who had extra plants. And here we've got um, an epiphyllum. Not sure the exact variety, but it's going to be a nice surprise when it flowers. And this one here that we think possibly could be um, either a tephrocactus or a cylindro apuntia. I'm again not sure the type, so that's going to be exciting to find out. A trichocereus, again a mystery, <laughs> but it's going to be wonderful to find out um, what it is eventually. As with cacti, it's difficult to ID them until they actually flower, but um, lots of many hybrids, so that's going to be wonderful. Again, an echinacea synopsis here we're not sure the exact type but we'll soon know um, get a bit of an idea maybe when it flowers and we've got the pot sorted out and got the labels all wrote out for them because I love to label the plants also and um, we've got the soil now I always like to use a John Innes based soil, either the number two or the number three. In this case, I'm using number two. And links up above to a video I've made on how to make cactus and succulent soil because it's far more economical. You know what's going into it as a lot of these um, cactus soils are often filled with cheap fillers and they're not that very good. And also I prefer to use a loam based, soil based compost rather than peat because peat is okay to use on general house plants and some of the epiphytes and things like that. But with cacti and succulents, I find peat is really not the best thing to use. It's not particularly the worst, but I personally prefer a heavier base soil. I think it retains water better and um, it, and it might sound strange, as long as it's well draining, um, peat does dry out very fast and it's difficult to re-wet again. And there's just, and plus it's not environmentally that friendly. That's why I prefer to use a uh, soil-based compost. As I say, John Innes is available here in the UK and Ireland, but it might not be that available elsewhere in other places. So basically any loam-based soil is what I prefer to use and links up above to a video on how to make your own cactus and succulent soil. And I've just mixed it with the extra perlite, the sand, extra sand, horticultural sand in there, and extra perlite to replace the grit. And um, that's it. And then I'm going to get the, the pot sorted out and um, get potting up. Now I've half filled up some of the soil. Now this one was actually already potted up already. <laughs> it had um, blue towel over it. And uh, Hans just reminded me, this one's actually been potted up. And um, I took the towel off, just put a little bit more soil around it, just to fill it up a little bit at the top. So that one's already been potted up nicely anyway. So that one's done. That's a little Echinopsis one. And as I say, not sure the exact type, but we'll find out in the future when it flowers. So we've got the little, the little label on it there. And by the way, guys, if you want to know how to correctly write a plant label out, um, I know you guys might think this is daft, but I honestly didn't know. I used to just write the label starting that end. But you actually write it on that way. And um, my amazing fiance Hans has actually done a brilliant video on his channel on how to correctly write your label out. So um, links up above to that video, guys. Please do go and check it out. And if you haven't done already, please do subscribe to Hans. He has some wonderful videos on there and lots more coming soon as well. So that's the first one done and uh, the next one we're going to do this now again not 100% sure what this is I'm guessing it's a um, cylindro apuntia and the guy who gave it to us wasn't 100% uh, sure himself what variety of cylindro apuntia it is um, so it's looking like it's more likely to be that than a tephro cactus but um, got the label on there so um, again all we're going to do now is just sticking it a little bit in like so and then um, going to be putting Roughly the cuttings, you want to obviously make sure that you cover at least a good inch so they send out the roots. Now with, with cactus cuttings, as in this case with um, Cylindra puntia, the areoles, as with all cacti, where a lot of the roots will come out of, as well as the bottom, through the, the vascular ring at the very bottom there, um, the roots would also come out on the areoles going around. So you want to make sure you have at least a good inch into the soil, not only to support the, the plant, but also so that it's got enough for the roots to come out. And as I say, with, with cactus cuttings and succulents are different to other plants in that you have to make sure with all cuttings, they've formed a hard callus 
um, where they've been cut because if you if you just cut take a cut and put it straight into soil they can root uh, sorry they can rot um, and which is the last thing you want to do so making sure it's fully calloused over is the trick so we're going to just space that four places apart here and um, whoops <laughs> maybe put the taller ones at the back it doesn't have to be all placed perfect as you as um, Cylinder up until it does grow wild anyway, there's a little new growth on it like that. So just placing it like so, and then that one there, and I'm going to be putting the other, other soil on around the top of my hands in the way there, guys. Um, put that around it. And as I say, you don't have to watch this all the way through, you're not daft how to pot up. This is just a bit of a diary of just me potting up the new plants, really. I know I've sometimes uh, fast forwarded the uh, the film when I've done this and people say, but we want to see you potting them up from start to scratch. So if this goes on a bit too long, guys, with this video, sorry about that. But I always love watching repotting videos and I like to watch them all the way through. So uh, guessing you guys want the same. But as I say, if you want to see the finished result, just... Just fast forward the uh, the film, <laughs> and uh, there you go on there. That seems a better to use the hands. I normally will be doing this in the in the poly tunnel, but because the it's a little bit damp today out there, it's better to do this in the dry. Um, plus these plants because they are rooting, which I wouldn't normally recommend potting, doing cuttings and potting up this time of year. Obviously, it's late late in the um, year as such for this the growing season anyway this is where they're sort of coming down to their dormancy rest now but because these have already been given us cuttings we're going to be keeping them in the grow room upstairs in the plant room and uh, where we've got um, going to be having anyway I should say grow lamps so stay tuned for that video when we set up the grow lights in the grow room which is where we're going to be overwintering the ones that aren't so ca uh, cold hardy and the cuttings and the seedlings so that's the first one that's sorry the second one done and again I've marked tephro cylindra puntia I'm pretty almost sure and Hansi's as well he, I trust Hansi's advice it, it's a cylindra puntia but because we're not quite sure just putting it there for now there you go that's the second one guys and uh now the other one is the trochocereus again the guy who gave us wasn't sure what type it was but as i say um there are many many hybrids of trochocereus very cold hardy too now to show that there's a bit, bit of a brown marking on there this is very common with trochocereus cacti also with pilocereus and a lot of the time the markings on it the black scabbiness and stuff is sometimes just down to high humidity and sometimes cultural things like when you're growing them um, it's not harmful as such it's just purely aesthetic and i have made a video on um black spots and marks and pustules on trichocereus and other serious type cacti because i get asked all the time about it and i've had a lot of my plants have had this my tall serious ones for many years and they've never died of it it just seems to be more sometimes that comes about in high humidity living in ireland as um, the guy did who gave me this cutting it's impossible to avoid high High humidity ideally cacti like to be kept in a dry environment as possible uh, especially with the air humidity it's just not possible here in Ireland so um, the next best thing is obviously doing what we can do but this is why often these little marks will appear on the plants sometimes as well using chemical sprays and anything like that can sometimes cause them to form these little black marks and scabs so as I say just like us all they have their own little war wounds but it's aesthetics rather than harmful. There's a difference between that and rot. And uh, you go tuck him in nicely into his little pot. And uh, as I say, I like to use lots of perlite. Well drainage is so important with cacti. I cannot tell you because, you know, if plants, cacti is potted up in normal soil and they're not getting the aeration, um, they can rot because they don't like to be kept damp for too long, even in the middle of summer. So as I say, this is uh, these plants are going to be keeping slightly damp because they are cuttings and they're going to be kept in the grow room upstairs in a much warmer temperature than they're going to be if they're in the polytunnel. So I want to encourage them to sort of root over the winter. That's the second one. And Trucocereus variety. Ha <laughs> ha. There you go. That's the third. Now the last one is the big giant. Now we have... Um, Again, epiphyllum variety, not quite sure. This one is one cut, it's already got root, so that's going to be amazing just to pot up as it is. And the other one is um, cutting here. Again, this is all the same plant. Um, the, the lady who we got it from at the Cactus Society, um, 
I think she may have actually told us what type it is, but I can't remember. So it's going to be exciting to see what type of flower it is. Most likely possibly be red, but I'm sure that I did hear the, the gentleman say it's a pink flower. So, But I might be totally wrong. <laughs> we'll see how we go. So that can go in there. As I say, um, with all epifilum, with all cats, you're going to make sure you get the first couple of inches in so the roots can come through these areoles here and down the bottom. Now, epiphyllum is different to normal cacti. They do like, they can take a lot more humidity and um, also they like to be kept slightly moist during the winter, unlike um, the desert cacti, they like to be kept totally dry. I'll just move this across because that's it, it's better. You might be able to see the top of the plant, at least you can see what I'm doing at the bottom. And again, that there, like so. And then um, just holding that up now and then going to be putting all the soil around it there. And... Uh, Again, loads of soil. So again, this is going to be normally epiphyllum. Epiphyllum can be quite cold hardy to a degree. They're like probably about a minimum of about 7C. Um, they can take lower temperatures than that. Unfortunately, my sometimes I've had to in the past. Um, but they do tend to form little black scabs and brown spots and don't look the best if they're grown in lower temperatures than this. But um, they're unlikely to die if they're kept well above sort of two to three anyway celsius um but as i say ideally they like to be kept around the seven so although this is going to go into the polytunnel in the next month or so i'm going to be keeping it up in the plant grow room upstairs just to encourage it to root where it's going to be kept warmer and um, with grow lights and there you go there and that's the last one so again to the guys at the cactus society um, if you happen to be watching this it was wonderful meeting you all and um, thank you so much for the plants. Very, very generous. And uh, as I say, it's uh, wonderful to get free gifts of plants. You can't beat it. It's so exciting and extra special when it's given to you by members who are as passionate about growing these plants as we are. And uh, it's absolutely wonderful. So um, put the label in here, Epiphyllum variety, like so. Now, um, what are we doing? I might be able to raise the stand so you can see a little bit more of what I've done here so that's the the one plant here it's the other one the other one and that that's them all potted up and I'll just turn that around so you can see the size of the epiphyllum there yeah, it's lovely cutting isn't it guys isn't that beautiful Woohoo! So that's lovely, lovely, lovely and very, very generous of the, the cactus guys there. And um, that's the other ones all potted up. So guys, thanks so much for watching. And I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power. As always from Northern Ireland. Until the next video, guys. Bye. Bye.